Hey everyone, this is Jordan Delella from Rush Home Productions, and today we are going to create the Doctor Strange Portal Effect. Let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into After Effects. And we're going to click New Composition, uh, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames at uh, 4 seconds long, and we'll hit OK. First thing we're going to do is create a new light, and we're going to name the light emitter. Make sure your light type's a point and hit OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a layer new solid. We're going to name it particle. And we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to go to the ellipse tool and we're going to draw a circle. Something like that. Then we're going to pull up on the particle, the mask layer, hit M on your keyboard, and we'll select the mask path and copy it, Command C, to the emitter. Make sure to click the emitter position. And OK. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we have a bunch of keyframes from one second to two seconds, and we're going to shorten this. So we're going to bring, select the last keyframe, and we're going to bring it in make sure to deselect everything first and we're going to bring it in to the half a second mark. So at 12 frames. Then we're going to select our keyframes and we're going to copy them and duplicate them. And duplicate them until you're at the end of the timeline. There we are. Okay. So right now what this is doing is we're creating a light source that's going around and around and around and again in a circle. So the next thing we're going to do is add trap code particular. So we're going to go effects down to trap code and particular. We're going to go to the emitter and we're going to particles per second. We're going to make 2000. We're going to go to our emitter type. and we're gonna click lights. Now it's important that your light source is called emitter or else this won't work. So now we have our light source spinning around and all the particles are following the circle. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna bring down uh, our velocity to negative 150. We're gonna up our emitter X size to 200. Uh, bring our Y down to zero. Next thing we're going to go down to is the particle menu. And we're going to bring our life down to 1.3 seconds long. Next thing we're going to do is up our size to 12 and bring up our size random to 20. Just get a feel for that. Okay, the opacity random, we're gonna put down at 20. And opacity over life, we're gonna hit the second graph. Then we're gonna go down to the physics menu. We're gonna click on bounce. And we're gonna click on gravity, put in 300. Now for the particles to bounce, we have to create a floor layer. So we're gonna do that next. So we're gonna go to layer, new, solid, and we're gonna label it floor and hit okay. Then we're gonna make it a 3D layer and we're gonna bring it down under the emitter and we're gonna rotate it. And then we're gonna bring the floor layer down to about there. Then we're going to go back to our particle layer and where we were going with bounce. We're going to bring up the bounce menu and hit floor layer, floor. So now you can see that the particles are bouncing up now. We're going to keep all the bouncing uh, settings the same and we're going to move into rendering. Correction, we're going to move into, actually let's do rendering. We'll go to motion blur 
where it says motion blur, we're gonna go to comp settings and we'll turn on. Then we're gonna make the shutter angle 1000. Okay, and let's give this a preview. Okay, that looks pretty good. The next thing we're gonna do is duplicate the particle layer. So Command D to duplicate. And we're gonna just to change a few of the settings. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go scroll down to the physics and change it to air. And then we're gonna to go to world transform menu and we're gonna rotate it to, let's say, 203. Okay, let's give that a preview. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust, just to change it up from the previous uh, particle layer. We're going to go to the time or the life and we're going to make it 0.9. Then we're going to change the size down to 10. And we'll change the emitter X size to 150. And let's give that a preview. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We're just gonna duplicate now the particle layer one more time, so Command D. And we're gonna go back down to the World Transform menu. And we're gonna rotate it some more. Let's say to... Say to 11, and let's give that a preview. Okay, there we are. So that's the general effect. The next and last stage is to color correct. So we're gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer. And I've been using for this effect, Video Copilot's Vibrance. And let's just uh, change the color to uh, an orangey yellow. Let's hit OK. And we'll bring down the vibrance down a little bit. And here, let's give that a preview. So noticing from this, I'd like to complete the circle a little bit more. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the particle layer again, and we're going to rotate it again in the world transform. So let's rotate it. Let's try that. Okay, we'll give that a preview. And that's how you create the Doctor Strange portal effect in After Effects. Please like and subscribe. I'm Jordan Delella from Rush Home Productions.